I think at times we all forget to do something. Maybe you forgot to have lunch, or leave out the garbage, or you forgot to subscribe to my channel and hit the wee bell for notifications. But for me, I'm gonna tell you about that time I forgot to initialize my SSD for the better half of a year. Whoops. Okay, so we should probably talk about getting my SSD in the first place. So basically, my brother was building a new computer for himself, so he ordered himself the parts online, including an SSD. He told me that they were, like, quick to access and all that, and I was aware that they were, like, a pretty good job, so I figured I would grab one down the line. Uh, basically, what happened was that for some reason, the place he ordered the SSD from, they actually sent him two instead of the one that he ordered, which was a nice wee surprise, I've got to say. So he was like, hey, you can have your SSD, and I was like, oh, nice, cheers, let's whack it in. So we put in the SSD, we hooked it up, I turned on the computer, you know, as you do, and all that, and there we go. So at the time, right, I figured, alright, that's a whacked in, so I'll just give us a go tomorrow, we'll see how it all goes. I know I said earlier that I just turned it on, but there's a good chance I'm probably misremembering, because this is like half a year ago or so, so, you know, all that fun stuff. But basically, at the time, whacked it in, said, I'll give us a go tomorrow, see how it goes and all that. And basically, I just thought, like, once I was in, that's it good to go, like it should just start working after you've like, uh, plug in a USB memory stick for example. At the time I just thought my PC was being slow and it didn't detect it yet, which I thought was, well, alright, no worries, I mean it's probably like installing or something, so I'll just leave it be. You probably guessed it already, but no, that was certainly not the case. So basically what happened was, it turns out you were supposed to initialize it. So I looked up online why my SSD isn't showing up, but before that, I should probably go on and ahead and explain why it took me so long to, you know, actually get around doing that, and what the idea was. So basically, at the time, I was actually alright for hard drive space. I don't tend to download large files or games. The largest things on my PC at the time would have probably been Payday 2 and Killing Floor 2, and even then, I still had, like, a terabyte hard drive at the time. Uh, that said, the hard drive was like six odd years old and it was starting to fail on me, so in October last year, I got a new bigger hard drive, uh, storage capacity wise, but that's just starting to detour a wee bit. But the point is, is that I still had a good load of free space available, and I should probably let a failing hard drive serve as a reminder for you folks to regularly back up your important files and all that, because it'll be a bit of a shame that you you know, like, lost all your important documents because your hard drive pooped itself, to put it simply. But, uh, back on topic, having a free space meant I didn't need to use it for a while yet. So, because as I said, most of the time, for this here PC, I currently either just use it for gaming, you know, for a bit, or checking emails, or just video editing. Uh, most of the time, videos were done using the PS4 for recording reviews or first impressions, at the time, you see, I was using Share Factory to edit it for handiness, all from the PS4. So I didn't actually have to use any more, like, additional storage space on my PC just yet, if that makes sense. Anyway, you fast forward, like, half a year later, and I was looking up online why my SSD wasn't loading up. As I mentioned, it turns out you were supposed to actually initialize it. You guys can probably guess already, but yeah, I kind of felt like a right numpty then and there. Like, I was something as simple as that that was actually preventing me from using it. Needless to say, after setting it up and getting some stuff put on, boy howdy, the benefits were certainly quite noticeable, I'll tell you that. Like, real talk, have you guys ever played Killing Floor 2? The game is notorious for taking a good long time to load up on PC. No joke, running up from my hard drive took like 10 odd minutes to load up most of the time. And this wasn't just for me. Like, you could browse the Steam forums, right? Seeing other folk having the same issue. Heck, you could probably press play on the game, right? So, you know, it loads up. You could go to the bathroom. You could make a coffee. You could check your emails, feed your cat, your dog, or whatever. And you still have, like, to wait a wee bit for the game to still load up. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not hitting on Killing Floor 2. I still like it. Heck, if you guys haven't seen it already, I actually reviewed it a while back. I gave it a nice review, and I think even then the only negative point was how long it took to load up on the hard drive, but... Like, even then, it was still, it's still a good game. I still played it from time to time, but... Yeah, um... 
as a no hit on the game, I still enjoy it, but yeah, basically, putting the game right, oh, hold up, even before that, I should probably add that if Killing Floor 2 ever do like an optimization update, I will be quite happy about it. But anyway, back on track. Um, hearing about how the faster like speeds and stuff that the SSDs can do, I figured that it was worth a go to put Killing Floor 2 on it. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the 10 minutes shrunk to about like, what, 10 or 20 seconds to boot up to the main menu. The same goes for Warframe and Payday 2, the faster loading times are a game changer, plus the extra space is handy for more games I can install. Since as you know from me being a game reviewer, these games really do tend to eat up memory like I go through visual novels, in other words, quite quickly. So for those of you wondering if an SSD is worth the investment, I would honestly say yes, but at the same time it would depend on what you're putting it on. If you use your PC largely for internet browsing or for emails, you probably wouldn't need it, but for gamers or game reviewers like myself, it's definitely a worthy investment. Take it from a game reviewer here, folks. It is definitely worth it. Even if you want to use it on your PS4 or your Xbox or whatever, I do believe it still makes like a huge difference. I know one of the games, Final Fantasy XV's Comrades game mode, uh, for those of you who haven't checked out my live streams on it back whenever I used to stream a game a while back, as much as I enjoyed it, the loading times took quite a while, like near like a minute upwards because it used like the base game map and I was kind of like, you choose a mission, you're actually like going to that their location instance, if that makes sense, rather than it being like a you know, like a small arena, like you'd still be loading up the actual game world from the base game. So I was looking up online at the time, and people were saying that they installed an SSD on the PlayStation instead, put Final Fantasy 15 on it and all that, and that the loading times were a huge improvement. I remember looking up some comparison videos, and flip, that was just a huge difference. There's a very good chance that, aside from Final Fantasy 15. There's probably a lot of other games that might be able to, you know, do all that fun stuff. So even if you like to play on consoles or whatever, an SSD would more than likely be definitely worth it. As I said, take it from the game reviewer, it's definitely a worthy investment. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for today's video, folks. So uh, yeah, make sure whenever you install a new SSD in your PC, that you remember to actually remember to initialize the thing. With all that said, I just want to say a uh, big thanks to everyone for checking out today's video, and if you haven't uh, forgotten, make sure you please subscribe to the channel and hit the wee bell for notifications, and if you have any other funny forgetful stories, please feel free to share them down below. I'm sure we could all use a right big old chuckle, my SSD forgetfulness aside, but I'm sure everyone's got a funny story or two to tell, but yeah, cheers folks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.